Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking steamed chicken in ginger garlic sauce. So let's start cooking. First, we are going to blend the ginger as well as the garlic together. Putting 12 cloves of garlic. I'll be using 100 grams of young ginger as well as 90 grams of old ginger. Why the difference? The difference is old ginger is spicier, so I'm using less of this. So just put everything in. I'm making more than what I actually need because I don't want to put it to waste, so I'm just blending everything together. Here's half a cup of sesame oil. I'll be using half over here and reserve the other half. Put the lid on and let's blend it. Okay, it's done. So this is how I want it to be. So now let's go and fry the ginger and the garlic. In a heater pan, pour in the remaining sesame oil. Pour in the garlic and ginger mixture or paste that we made. Now we'll slowly fry this until fragrant. Turn the heat to medium low. I'm making a lot more because of the ginger that I bought. But once you cook this, this is extremely good if you want to use this, put over fish and steam them or over any kind of meat. It's really, really very nice. So this needs a little bit of patience. So you have to really stir it up because we don't want to burn it. This is halfway done. You still need to fry this for approximately another 10 to 15 minutes. Remember to keep stirring them. We don't want to burn them. Now when you see that the oil can separate easily from the ginger and garlic, that means this is almost done already. Now we just need to season this. We'll be adding in two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, as well as one and a half teaspoon of sugar. Mix it up well. Okay, this is done. So we just need to let this cool down before we add this to our chicken. We're now going to marinate the chicken. This is half a kilogram of chicken. I'm using two drumsticks plus one chicken thigh. Or you can use any part of the chicken if you like. I'll be adding in one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of hua piao jiu or Chinese cooking wine, and one tablespoon of corn flour. Mix that up well first. So once this is done, we're going to add one tablespoon of this ginger garlic paste into the chicken. This is very potent stuff, so just one tablespoon will do for now, for marinating. Put it in now. I prefer to use my hand to mix up really well, so make sure you wash your hand. So after this is done, we'll let this marinate for approximately 20 minutes before we steam them. The chicken has been marinating for 20 minutes now. I'm just going to add a little bit more ginger on top of the chicken, just to enhance the ginger taste. Now if you like to have more ginger, then by all means you can put a lot more. Okay, depending on how spicy you want your chicken to be, because we are using old ginger over here, so it's a little bit on the spicy side. I'll just spread them out. So it really all depends on how gingerish you want your dish to be. You can put in more or you can put in less. It's really up to you. So we are about done. Boil a pan of boiling water and we will go and steam this right after I put this last ginger bit on. Now that the water is boiling, I'll be putting in the chicken. We are going to steam this for between 10 to 12 minutes. This should be good for this chicken right now. So I'll see you back in a while. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. Now, in order to know whether this has been cooked already or not, all we need to do is use a satay stick, poke it into the meat and see if there's any red juices coming out. That means it's not cooked. As you can see, the it's running very clear. That means it's cooked already. Okay, so we remove this. I'll be sprinkling some spring onions on top and we'll be serving this now. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our 
steamed chicken in ginger garlic sauce. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.